Hey guys, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays! This vlog is undoubtedly going to be special, for I got the opportunity along with 24 hour students from all over the world to participate in the Stockholm International Youth Science Seminar in the beginning of December. To be honest, I've traveled in group settings before, but never on my own. So I had to take a connection to Vienna and when the plane landed, I had to run through 37 gates with my huge backpack and window coat on. But when I finally reached the finish line, I realized there are still 10 more minutes before even opening the gate. Such a beginner. I've just arrived a while ago in the whole other room and I'm so excited because I have a really great roommate, Tessa. Hi. And your project is on? Is on epigenetic variation and inheritance. Yeah. So you hear more about it at the conference, the seminar. <laughs> and the cool thing is that we are doing a genetics seminar and she is like really proper in genetics. And <laughs> I'm, I'm with a pro right now in the room. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to show around. It's like, it has this Scandinavian style, like really modern. The first night we had our welcoming ceremony where we could chat, eat pizza and get to know each other a little bit more through interactive games. We basically had a presentation on how to do a catchy, fascinating and yet informative presentation. But the key thing as well is pathos. You have to feel. If it's just dry data, how should I connect? How should I understand? When you can get that feeling, I know where this person is coming from. Then you can really make an impact. Based on Aristotle's system, we gotta have ethos, the speaker's character, pathos, emotions, and logos, reality. On the days ahead, we mostly took public transportation. You shouldn't have forgotten this at home. We shared a Christmas dinner at Skansen. It was magnifique, like we had shit boulard, pickled fish, um, smoked salmon, shrimps with mayonnaise, and basically all you could imagine. We visited Skansen, which is the world's oldest open-air museum, showcasing the whole of Sweden with houses and farmsteads from every part of the country. The view was amazing from top. Stockholm is a beautiful northern city, and I guess we mostly enjoyed the animal farm part. Hey, guys! Hi, we are at the Skansen with Han. Han. And Tao Tao. Hello. <laughs> so where are we heading right now? Do um, we know? I don't know. going to the zoo. <laughs> yeah, probably the wolves are going to be out. I guess so. The wolves. The wolves. How are you enjoying it? Yeah. It's great and just cold. <laughs> Trying to get to the coffee shop because it is really getting cold. And the funny thing is that the sun is setting at 3 pm, so the golden hour is much earlier, especially because it's closer to the northern pole. In the international dinner, we were introduced to a little challenge. We had to present our country before the editor in chief in National Geographic. Anna Pressure, who is looking for a new location for their next story. And because we were obviously starstruck, out of the one minute getting on top of Burj Khalifa, we only had 56 seconds. I'll dedicate another video showcasing all of your cool presentations, but here I will add a little snippet of it. It was so sweet, like literally so sweet receiving your presents. They make such a great memory. We had a visit at Asylum. I just love the touch of creativity in the company's logo and also the slogan, let's solve water. They create innovative and smart technology solutions to meet the world's water, wastewater, and energy needs. We had a visit in the lab where, understandably, taking footage was not allowed, which was a little bit heartbreaking from a beginner vlogger's point of view. And we could virtually go inside a water pump where I was a little bit lost. You can actually put your head into the pump and see the color rotating, <laughs> and yeah, so you can actually see, and then you can actually pick up a 10 pound pump. Walk underneath it without worrying about it falling on your head. Oh, that was good. Oh, oh. Okay. And we could also travel on Google Maps wherever you wanted to, reduce cost of travel as well. Has the week's name, it was a seminar where we presented our research project before a lot of Swedish students in the circus. A no pressure again. But beforehand, we had a prepping session where the organizers were truly helpful to get us in our best scientific shape. If you wanna, and I bet you wanna go on the science Facebook page where you can watch the whole thing. 
and also we have posters where we could talk about the research and get to know the students a little bit more. We were all amazed by the fact that the students were so well prepared, they were not afraid to ask questions and they showed genuine interest. I think it's really cool that all these scientists are just a couple years older than me and have accomplished so much. Uh, because I think everything is interesting and I think it's hard, so I like the challenge of studying something that I think is a little bit difficult. To study medicine? Friendship. That's my aspiration to become a doctor. I will probably study uh, some sort of physics, I think astrophysics or cosmology. Thinking of something with architecture. In the beginning of summer, I took some Swedish classes because I wanted to implement some Swedish phrases in my presentation. Today is my first Swedish lesson with Julia. Hey, good dog. Before presenting my research, I just would like to add so kul ett vara här. Jag skillar verkligen ett land och svenska skötbullar. And shout out to Francisco for implementing a Hungarian invention in his presentation. Before getting in the first Nobel lecture in medicine, there was a huge lane before Karolinska Institute. It's kind of like when they introduced a new iPhone, but of course we didn't spend the night in tents. I could capture moments inside with my cam, however my battery died reaching its end, but I will definitely show you some snap. She got one injection of uh, three mix per keg or simply four. And she's actually still doing fine. She's almost 19 years out now from metastatic melanoma. And I should point out that when we started this work, the median life expectancy after diagnosis with, with metastatic melanoma was 11 months. The moment we encountered the PD-1 was very fortunate. I'm very fortunate, all over. <laughs> they were so great, I appreciated Dr. Hanju's overall humble attitude, showing the scientific pathway he took before getting these life-changing results, and also included not only the names, but the photos of the people involved in the project as well. With some of us, we had the opportunity to talk to him in the Nobu reception. With the help of Maika and Ayako, I learned in Japanese, He's also an advocate for supporting girls, women, pursuing their scientific career, which is such an honorable effort. And you can watch all the lectures on the Nobel Prize's official YouTube channel, so make sure you tune in because you won't regret it. Why don't photons want to work together? Right? Because if two photons would just come into that atom at one time, they would share their energy and two little red photons would have the same energy as one violet photon and then the... There we go. It would have an electron come through with pretty high speed. If you ever travel to Stockholm, you will with a great chance visit the old town with its medieval vibes, narrow streets and cute souvenir shops. Hi! Hi! Hi. Okay, everybody! Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We also went sightseeing in Gamlostan, and as enthusiastic tourists, some of us were so focused on taking pictures and just started following the crowd afterwards and eventually got lost. But Marika showed us the way back. And also a highlight of the week, we had an ethics seminar, and the theme this year was genetic engineering. First in context of ecology, agriculture, and lastly medicine. We were selected in groups arguing for and against the question in each section. So we presented the ideas and challenged each other as well. Of course we had our preparations before, I was selected into a group with Muhammad, Adam and Sebastian arguing against introducing gene drives into ecosystems. And the results were pretty great. We won because teamwork makes the dream work. You gotta know that Swedes host gingerbread house competitions. When we visited the Mother Museum, there was even a gingerbread house exhibition. And of course, amazing smell was provided and you could vote for the best one in each category. There was one contest organized for us as well, where Hill, Han and I created our Snow Princess Castle. Sorry, Rahil, for the name choice. But of course, um, the group of Tauta, Maika, and Sebastian undoubtedly won the whole thing with their cool spaceship, so shout out to them. Oh, and yeah, one evening we had our midsummer dinner, which also involved games and dancing afterwards. We learned the steps of the traditional Swedish midsummer dance and also embraced the steps of the waltz. Han and I were chosen to participate in a Swedish educational film. We had an interview talking about our project, our personal attachment to the topic, and why inspiring others to pursue their STEM passion is important. 
The Nobel reception was held in the Nordic Museum, where we could meet and mingle with the Nobel laureates. Of course, reaching them wasn't an easy, but we managed to do it, so. We had the opportunity to meet with Francis Arnold, Jean Moreau, and of course, as mentioned before, Dr. Hanju. And one thing for sure we could take home with us was their humility, and it was such an unforgettable experience. We all girls and boys went to a hair salon to get ready for the Nobel Prize Award ceremony. I went for a high bun with braids on top. I really liked the look how it turned out, so thank you girls for making it possible. And afterwards we got ready, got dressed up, and went for a professional photo shoot. The Nobel festivities were amazing. The Nobel Prize Award Ceremony takes place at the Stockholm Concert Hall in Sweden on the 10th December every year, the anniversary of Alfred Nobel's death. The Swedish royal family was present as well. At the ceremony, the Nobel Prize in Physics, Chemistry, Physiology or Medicine uh, and the Prize in Economic Sciences were awarded to the Nobel laureates. And the classical music was mind-blowing. I think many would agree that Claire de Lune was amazing. My vision even got blurry. While waiting before the concert hall, the lane was huge. I previously bought a long, warm coat with me for the Scandinavian weather, but for some reason did not bring that with me. I thought we'd just go straight inside, and I almost freezed while waiting, um, and we made a little shelter with Moa using her coat, but afterwards I was safe for a true gentleman offered his coat while waiting. For dinner, our menu consisted of lightly baked arctic char with crayfish broth, dill seed infused onion, lightly smoked trout roe, crispy potato and watercress foam. For main course, we had baked celeriac with chanterelle cream and mushroom butter, sweet with bay leaf cream and slow roasted beef chuck with a bone marrow crust, smoked veal juice and potato and leek terrine. For dessert, we had medley of apples with caramelized fruity apples from Osterland, apple sorbet, vanilla custard, caramel sauce and oat crumbs. The Nobel nightcap was so cool. I believe the main theme of the night was circus. We had separate rooms like disco place and also a Japanese room with karaoke where we could blow away everyone with our talented voices. And we got to have sing an Abba song. Of course we're in Sweden. It was time for departure. I've spent a couple of hours at the airport um, where of course I've lost my beanie but I've had some people from the group I could wait together with. While waiting at the airport I just had such a strange feeling. One hand I was filled with unforgettable memories but on the other I have just had a void and I've already started missing you guys and I'm so thankful for having met you. You're all so smart inspiring people who I could learn a lot from and I'm sure you will succeed on the path you chose to follow in your future. I'm happy I can keep in touch with some of you guys and also I would like to thank the organizing committee for creating such an amazing week. <laughs> all so helpful and attentive we could rely on you a lot it was one of the best weeks of my life and we could all agree with that 